and gentlemen, welcome to official YouTube channel of Social Enterprise LLC and I'm Mustafa Emre Selik and here I am to talk about E1 and E2 Trader and Investor Visa. So at the very beginning I would like to talk about what that kind of visa is. E1 and E2 Visa gives a right to you to manage your company and business in the United States. And you can get that kind of visa to manage your company in the United States for five years. So ladies and gentlemen, let me talk about, briefly talk about the requirements to apply this kind of visa. So in order to apply it, first of all, you need to have a business or company in the United States and it has to be working for a while. So it does mean that it should be a company that runs for a while already. So ladies and gentlemen, it's the case that is important that you cannot apply such a visa before opening your company or business. You need to apply it after run that company or business already. For now, I would like to talk about the process to apply it. So you need to fill up some forms like DS-160, DS-156E, and you need to prepare a business and financial plan and in that plan you need to talk about your company and your business in detail you need to talk about your real opponents you need to talk about the sector you need to talk about industry you need to talk about your company business how many employees do you have how many workers you do have and something like that also you need to prepare your tax forms you have to already make your tax return so far. Your company is to be active and your status of company needs to be active. Your business and your company must be legal, of course. And after you completed these forms, I mean your DS-160156E and business plan, financial plan, tax returns, and your CV, your diploma, and your invoices, and your bank statements after you prepare all this you need to go to the embassy or consulate to have an interview in that interview all the things about your business or comp company can be asked you need to give clear answer to them for example the consulate the officer can pick up an invoice among your invoices can pick up an invoice and ask about that invoice what is that what is that for and something like that also, you are in need to know your business and company in detail. You need to know your workers, their CVs, and you have to, for example, show your rental agreement, that officer, and something like that. It does mean that you have to know your business. It does mean that you, you cannot apply, I mean, you cannot make fake application, for example, uh, since consulate officer will ask everything in detail. Also, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to talk about the industries and sector that you can uh, apply to your E1 and E2 visa with. So what are these? For example, you they have a restaurant, you they have a company, uh, I mean, a cafe in the United States, you can apply the visa, but there is a one requirement here that, absolutely, you, can, you are in need to make some investment about it. Uh, $90,000 so far, you need to spend that money. What is that? So, for example, to, I mean, for lease agreement, you need to make some money. For rents, you can spend some money for rents. For example, the wage that you are paying to your employees, flight ticket that you buy to improve your works, to go into USA and come back to your country. So, here the investment means that the flight ticket so far and the wage that you pay to your employees and your rents that so far you pay it can be the money that you that you spend up so far about your business or company or, or even the consultation fee that you are going to pay to us is the investment money so ladies and gentlemen if you do have any question regarding e1 issue trader and investor visa please do not hesitate to contact us and we are gonna we are gonna answer your all questions over about the process your requirements and the anything about the one you need to do to trade and invest in with them. Thank you very much for watching us. Please do not subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you very much.